show that's gonna make you sweat. And now, today's fearless players wearing the breathless blue from Lakeview Middle School. Quick! Arena, home of Nickelodeon Guts, the action sports show where kids live out their greatest sports fantasies. Today, our players will once again be competing in four fantastic events, and after that, they'll get a chance of tackling our radical rock, the aggro crag, where almost anything can happen. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner, and he or she will be able to take home a glowing piece of our awesome rock. Now, remember, folks, all of our events here on Guts are specifically designed with our players' safety in mind. They will be wearing safety equipment, and we'll have a professional stunt director and stunt spotters with them at all times, so please do not try this at home. Now the basketball game's ready to start, and you're squaring off for a jump ball with Carl Malone. Your teammates are counting on the tip. Can you do it? Well, on Guts, we'll increase your odds with an elastic or jump ball, a new elastic sports event on Guts. Let's go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for the rules. Oh. Hey there, Mike. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will jump off the aerial bridge towards the center post. Players will have seven chances to tip the jump ball into their zone. The player with the most jump balls in their zone wins. Mike. All right, so our player is getting ready to square off as they climb up the aerial bridge. They are hanging from cords 30 feet in the air. And we're going to give a little leap to their jump right here with these elastic cords. Looks like they're ready. On your mark, get set. All right, and so the first jump ball up for grabs. The tip, it's up. Oh, and so you see right there, folks, you cannot be tentative with your tip. As it was initially hit by one player, knocked back into the blue section. On your mark, get set. All right, so let's see if the two-handed technique will come in handy again. And purple hitting it back, but not pushing it far enough. It fell in the red section. So I believe the red player gets that point with not even touching the ball. On your mark, get set. All right, so Rachel's gonna have to really hit it a lot harder with those two hands, and oh! There she scores right there. We have a three-way tie, so all three of our players battling for that. It landed in the purple section, however. On your mark, get set. So it is a head-to-head -head competition today, folks. Oh, again landing in the purple. All three of our players touching it and bouncing off and then back into the blue sec, uh, purple section. On your mark, get set. All right, so as they go up right here. Oh, yes, look at that, folks. The second effort on that tap right there as Rachel in purple caught that last one and then threw it. I do, I'm do. i not sure where that it, that it last one bad. landed, but uh, we, will, we will go. The judges will confer on what it is and they're ready for another jump ball. On your mark, get set. All right, so Red scored on that last one. I've got the confirmation for the judges with that last one. Landed in blue, folks. It is a really close score. Two to two to two. One jump ball left. 300 points for first place. Up for grabs on this tip. On your mark, get set. All right, so all of our players in this head-to-head -head competition battling. Where's it going to end? Blue scores that one. It goes off of Red. Purple hits it. Goes off of Red. Tip into blue. What a first event to start our day here, folks. Let's go to Mo for the results. Well, Mike, in first place was Nick in blue with three, and, and tied in second place, Autumn in red with two, and Rachel in purple with two. And just to explain your quandary, that ball that you were wondering about did actually go into the red zone, Michael. All right, so three to two to two, showing just what we have in store for our players today. Intense competition. Look right there is Nick on that last one. On the way back down, takes it with his hand and throws it into the blue section. How did it feel to go head to head against the pl other players in this event? Well, it was good and I tried to get the ball, you know, get over there because my head got stuck on the last one and I had to hit it. Now, it, was a, it was a great second effort on that when you were reaching back. Was it hard to, to do that last one? Oh, yes, real hard. 
real tiring and <laughs> real hard to jump up there. All right, we'll give you a chance to take a rest while we check out our leaderboard. Mo. Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Nick in blue. And tied in second place with 200 points each, Autumn in red and Rachel in purple. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, th th this is high up here. These people are jumping high, at least 12 feet in the air. Elastic Sports, come on. Time for Spill Your Guts. Quick, Nick Ledvora is a 13-year-old skate rat. When Nick isn't skateboarding on vertical ramps, he's looking for a challenge. For Nick, guts equals loyalty. All right, well, we'll see if the skate rat's loyal to soccer strategy in our next, again, free uh, kick. Our players are going to be getting in these goals right here, and they're going to be balls coming at them one after the other. Pretty hard at... Yowza, they're going to stop those. Let's go to Mo, Mo. Careful. In this event, each player will have 45 seconds to defend their goal against two cannons shooting soccer balls at them. Players must stay in their zone at all times, and the player who blocks the most balls wins. Players, on your mark, please. Get set. All right, and so we take a look at all our players, and quick Nick the Skate Rat in blue getting the first two. And a couple others right there. Reaction time extremely important in this event as we take a look at Atomic Autumn and then Rachel Wildcat. We can get in her claws in a few right there. 26 seconds left. Our players have got to show their versatility, agility in this event right here. Different than our first event, Elastic Sports. They got to be able to move them from side to side. They got to get their hands up and down quickly because those cannons are shooting soccer balls one after the other for 45 seconds straight. It looks like the skate rat right behind purple. That's Wildcat Rachel. All right, so both the Wildcat and in purple, that's Rachel, and Nick, quick Nick in blue. Good scoring on that last event. Let's find out our official results, Mo. In first place, Rachel in purple blocking 21. In second place, Nick in blue knocking 18. In third place, Autumn in red blocking nine. We had to discredit a number of Autumn's blocks because she stepped out of her zone. All right, so we take a look at quick Nick taking second place in this event. Look at, his, look at how his reaction time is. He is right on the balls of his feet and ready for all soccer balls. And then Rachel using her hands very well and sacrificing her body. Oh, right, right there with her knees. Nice work for the Wildcat taking first place points in that last event. And Atomic Autumn, she had uh, stepped out of her box on a few of those, so that gave her third place points. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. We have a tie in first place right now. Both Nick in blue and Rachel in purple have 500 points. In third place, Autumn in red with 300 points. So after two events, a tie for first place. Only 200 points for our next, between our next player. Come up, pool activity next. Yes. 